first thing I want to do is to show Tim how to make a snare. And uh, Tim, Tim asked me earlier, this is actually a little thinner gauge than I would normally use. This is a 30 gauge. Uh, you probably want to go with the 24 to 26 gauge wire, Tim. And what you do is just find a small stick. And this takes all of about a minute to make a snare. You simply wrap the wire one full turn. So it's actually a turn and a half around. And then twist the stick. Okay? And what you're going to do is twist the wire around itself. When you get up to the end, uh, Ron Hood taught me this, leave that little tip pointed in a little bit. What that will do is catch the animal's fur and guarantee. When you're finished, you just break this out and then you pinch. I hope that's good on camera. You pinch it so you've got a little hole on your snare wire. Then you can take and put your end back through that hole and you've got a snare. So a quick way to make a snare and I'm going to show you a way to, to hook this up real quick on a tree. You can use this for a snare kind of scenario. But this will hook up up in the air where you can hook it for possibly something that's a little bit bigger. Uh, this will hook up on the ground. You could just tie this to a stake outside of a snare of a hole. Okay, you could just set it outside of a hole, which is probably going to be your best bet. Uh, put it in the middle of a run just as a, just as a, a catch and it'll catch that way. So I'm going to let you go ahead and do it, Tim. Practice one time. Come on in here on the camera and uh, let's see if you got that. Make sure you can do it. You're going to come one full time around. That's right. And then bring that back. And just twist your stick. Don't twist the wire. Twist your stick. And that'll just pull your finger out as you're doing it. And it'll run right down the wire. And just leave a little tag on the end there. Good enough. And then you break your stick off. And then pull that out. And press it together real tight. There you go. And you've got your little tag, so you want to fold your line into the tag. There you go. Excellent job. And I think that'll help a lot of people, uh, help a lot of people at home that are looking to make some snares and how to do that. Think that'll work for you? Right. Well, there you go, bro. One of the other nice things, let me show you real quick on the video here. One of the other things that you folks can do at home, once you've got a bunch of these snares made up, one of the things you folks can do at home, uh, once you've got a bunch of these snares made up, if you make them up at camp and you're going to go out, you can just put them on a piece of branch like this. So you've got all your snares handy. You go out into the bush and you've got them right there for you. You put it on a carabiner, put it on a piece of cordage, whatever. And just carry them like that. It keeps them separated. You get out there, just pull them off, set your snare up, and use what you need. So that's a good way to, good way to carry them with you as well. All right, so there's our snare setups. So how, how about we do some tarps? The so first thing we want to do is uh, then teach Tim how to set up a tarp pretty quickly in the bush. Now I've been asked to do a five minute tarp and a five minute uh, fire setup. We can't do a fire today, it's too windy out here. And I'm not gonna use this as a five minute tarp that I will do there, but I'll show you how quick and easily it really can be done. And all we need is a few pieces of cordage and a tarp, okay? The first thing you wanna remember, Tim, is you want your tarp set up about knee height. You want it to be low to the ground. It's basically to shed rain and to keep you dry from wind keep you from out of the wind. So we've got a couple pieces of cordage, we've got our tarp, we've got two trees. What we're going to do is tie this between these two trees and then we'll go ahead and uh, set the tarp up. So the first thing we do is find the end of our cordage here. I showed Tim how to wrap cordage and you guys can go back and check on another video but the way we wrap cordage it never ever tangles. It's kind of a nice thing. So I'm just going to put that in my pocket for a minute over here and show you the first tie-off here. 
Okay. Are we in there, Cam? So this tile, I'm just going to uh, put an overhand loop in here. And what that will allow me to do is to pass my whole roll through this loop. You can use fancy knots on this side if you want to, but there's really no purpose, Jim. All you have to do is get this around the tree. So we'll put that here. Again, we want it right around knee height. Now what we want to do on this side, Tim, is we want this, this is called a ridge line, and we want this as tight as possible between these two trees. Paracord has an elastic tendency to stretch. So we're going to put this around the tree. Again, we're gauging about knee height, okay? And I'm going to tighten this up pretty much as tight as I can tighten it by hand. Then I'm going to wrap my cord around the standing line and pull it back around the tree. Okay. And I'm going to pull that excess cord out there. Then I'm going to come around again and wrap it one more time around the standing line. And I'm going to pull it back the other way around the tree. And now, this is very tight. You can hear that. I'll finish just by tying it off with a couple of half hitches that are slippery, which means I can just come back and pull them out very easily. So we've got a nice tight set. Okay? So what I'm going to let you do is go ahead and start with that, set that cord up, get that tight off, and then we'll get to tarp off. Okay? Tell people what you're doing as you're doing it, and uh, you're on. Put this in this button high. Mm -hmm. Right now, make sure you t make sure you pull that as tight as you can before you come around it, Tim. If you pull the cord this way, right, then you're not putting stress on around this tree and breaking the cord. Mm -hmm. So pull it around there. Mm -hmm. You're going to hold that tight, then come under, and back toward yourself. One more time. No, no, no. Just go right under the cord. There you go. Pull yourself and pull it nice and tight. Pull it real hard. There you go. Very good. Then come around. Wrap it around again. And then pull it out very tight this way. Back here. There you go. Now wrap it around the full turn. There you go. Then wrap it around the full turn. All the way around. There you go. I'm going to tie this off and put the ramp up here. Very good. So you've got a nice, tight ridge line, and that's going to hold your shelter up for you. So the next thing we're going to do then is we're going to lay the tarp out and stake it down. Okay? Mm -hmm.